Previously on Alan Wake. Previously on Alan Wake. I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could wait here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? Alice? That's to the point. I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. Episode 2. Wow, that's a really badly animated hand. Look at that. This is like stiff. He's like doing the robot with his bag of groceries. Honey, I'm home. Back here, sweetie. How was it? How Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. You lazy, lazy animators. You just took off his outer jacket. He's just took off his outer two jackets. He's still got the one. See, there's... There's layer number three. This is like layer number two. It is craptacular outside. Oh my god. Ooh, is that a flat screen? That better be. A famous author. I better have a nice house. Hey, handsome. This is gonna be a long night, but these shots are turning out great. I guess you're gonna need that coffee then. I'll go put it on. Oh. I get it. She takes my pictures. This is a terrible dark room, you know that lady? There's a window right there. From a distance, like in that last shot at the end, he looks like Tony Stark. I like Iron Man. It's a good movie. Coffee maker. This is a really nice apartment, actually. Or condo, whatever you want to call it. Coffee's Main on. Main screen, turn on. Go to Alice. Oh, hey, I just finished those cover mock ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. Occasion? I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? Well, you seem to think so it's night. Bow, chicka, bow, wow. Ooh. <laughs> Please move. Is this her desk or my desk? Is this her? Hmm. So this is my office. These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. Fuse box. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. I'm right here, baby. I'm fine. I'm fine. Just... Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Hi. You okay? I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid, but it's just... Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, writer. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. How original. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. 
Alan. Maybe it'll help you too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. That's all I have to say to that. <laughs> I love how the subtitles yeah. tell me what the screen how do you says. Feel, Mr. Wick? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wick, year old. how are you feeling? Like crap. See, she's bed. I'm okay. My I head's know it. fine. She I drowned. had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. I don't know how she got in the condition. lake, but she Thanks. did. Considering well, that she then, seems Mr. to... Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah... Sheriff Breaker is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was the image fish. of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. Ooh, I can examine the fish. I'm sorry you had to cut your morning fishing short for this, Doc. Oh, she's a beauty, ain't she? Not the biggest I ever caught, if you can believe that coming from an old fisherman like me. But she's right up there. Now, she's a largemouth bass, which is what you're after if you prefer a rule. I don't want a fishing now, lecture. If you want either trout or salmon, on the other hand, then it's fly fishing for you. That's great. Um, are you a fishing man, Mr. Wake? Oh, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. But it can be very relaxing out there. Mm. You can't get me off the water this time of year. Closest thing to heaven. I'll take your word for it, Doc. Wow. Look at that big honking computer. Jeez. I believe you'll find the sheriff in our office. Um, just go down the hall. Okay. What is with this crazy? I don't have the luxury of being complacent, Deputy Grant. The bulbs will need changing soon. You can't change them in the dark. Very good. I'll come back later on to your mind. She sounds like someone. Mr. Wake, the sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. Why is everybody cutting off corridor? That was Cynthia Weaver. I guess you can call her the town eccentric. She used to be the editor of the local newspaper, but she's focused on um all other things these days. Really? She'd fit right in where I come from. As you can see, she's a little obsessed with maintaining the light bulbs of the whole town, refuses to step on shadows, things like that. Back in her day, she wrote about all sorts of weird things in the paper. Bright Falls has a colorful history. Of course, what small town hasn't? Mine. I think she sounds like the chick from Ghostbusters. The sheriff wants to see you in her office, Mr. Wake. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Over. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the brake float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Stucky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really fresh. the garage. Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. James out. Hmm. Coffee thermos. Is it auto save like in Assassin's Creed? Shut up. Down the corridor in her office. Shut up. You're annoying. What corridor? Oh. 
this corridor. Richard Baugh, Bruce Dansky, Jacob Miller, on a camping trip, overdue, haven't been in contact. If you have seen them or know their whereabouts, please call 555-9932, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, thank you. These are actual pictures. Have you seen this man? Disappeared on 62007, and it features knack for winning contests. That's it? Do you have a name for him? Now, is this supposed to take place in 2010? Is that a cat? It is a cat. Dude, seriously.